Hey guys, today is all about creating these beautiful waves. I cannot wait to show you exactly what I use to just create something that's so simple and will last for days. I'm using the one inch Dia Ceramic Clipless Curling Iron and Aquage Beyond Shine Heat Spray. First, we're gonna go ahead and separate the hair. You know, parting is a big deal for me. It just makes things a lot easier to work through it. I'm going to brush out all tangles and then I'm going to spray my Aquage Shine Beyond on each section. With my curling wand set at a very high heat, I am going to take a nice section of my extensions and wrap them around the wand for about 10-15 mm, seconds. It works really fast because the heat's high. Now if this was my real hair, I would not do it on such a high heat, but it's not, so I abuse the weave a little bit. <laughs> We're going to continue on to the top. As you noticed before, I was curling in a downward motion. Now I'm going to be curling back away from my face. You'll notice that when I'm done curling each section, I don't really finger through it. I let it cool so that the hair sets in that exact curl pattern. Once all curls are complete, I let the curls set, and then I just simply go in and finger comb through each section of my hair, pulling them apart so that it doesn't group into large waves because I want more volume and a lot of body. So the curls are all done. I look like a Barbie. What do you guys think? Not too bad. So you're just gonna wind, let them set, and then fluff and pull them apart. Pull them apart. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Don't forget to check out the description box for a direct link to how I installed this beautiful blonde hair.